Burned Downs Country Kitchen. Uh, today we are going to get after some stuffed moink bourbon balls. Yeah, that's right. Stuffed moink bourbon balls. Uh, they look darn good. So let's get after this. Here's our ingredients. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to get after is making the bourbon barbecue sauce. And we got the, the soy sauce, the bourbon. Yes, come on. Star of the show, bourbon. Got brown sugar, ketchup, some apple cider vinegar, uh, and some D Dijon mustard. That about cover the barbecue sauce part of it. Uh, but for the moink balls, we have bacon, of course. Burn it down, we got bacon. Uh, we got ground burger, some Worcestershire, a bunch of seasonings, which consists of parsley, minced onion, garlic powder, uh, smoked paprika, love smoked paprika. Got some pepper, some block cheese. I have a couple jalapenos, cause y'all know me. I'm gonna do some jalapenos and whatever I'm gonna eat. So, oh, and then we'll uh, go ahead and do some garlic in there as well. We'll do some minced garlic, so. All right, let's get after this. We begin by putting in ketchup. Now, you could put in as much ketchup as you want. Like, I'm probably gonna do this half a bottle here because it'll make quite a bit. Yeah, we'll do this whole half a bottle. Okay, next we'll go ahead and put in you're supposed to do half the amount of whiskey that you used uh, with the ketchup, but you know, you do you. I think it needs more. Just, just, just a little more. Yeah, all right. I have that, right? And then we're gonna throw in Need about a tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. I can get it open. I'm just kind of eyeballing it because I've done this quite a few times. It'll be about a teaspoon or so of apple cider vinegar. It is strong, so you don't need too much of it. And then, you know, I would say about a Half a cup of brown sugar, but I'm probably going to go a cup, maybe a cup and a half. Maybe a cup, call that the half. Put in some Dijon mustard, about a tablespoon. That's good. And give it a stir. You can smell that bourbon. I love it. But you definitely want to make sure you save some because it's going in the meat too. Get some cracked pepper in there. Good. Next, we're gonna squeeze off a couple cloves of garlic in there. Just gotta have garlic. -y. Gotta have a garlic. -y. There we go. Not for the epic uh, scraping sounds I always seem to make off this thing, but maybe I'll do a giveaway. Y'all let me know if I should. Uh, do a giveaway on a garlic press. I'm getting it up to a boil. It's starting to bubble up here a little bit. So we're gonna back it down. It was on a medium high. Uh, I'm gonna do a medium low. Just so it simmers. I'm just gonna let that incorporate for you know 15 minutes or so. We'll let that do its thing while we're over there making up those uh, stuffed moink balls. It calls for a pound of hamburger. I got about a pound and a half maybe. 
Maybe. Uh, all right, let's get after this. We're going to crack one egg, put it in there. Uh, I did not show that in the beginning. Forgot. It happens. We'll also be putting some garlic in there. Let's go ahead and do some seasonings. Some black pepper, cracked, of course. Some minced onion. Yeah, however much you want to put in is what you put in. You know what I mean? Don't like I don't have an exact amount, I'm just eyeballing this. That'd be good. And we'll get our garlic powder in there. Our smoked paprika. Alright, that's looking good. Okay, just turn that heat off the for the barbecue sauce. Now that is done. And looking good. Nice, right? Oh, you can smell the bourbon. All right, let's go ahead and squeeze off some garlic in here. They're basically meatballs, but barbecue style. Sorry for the scraping, but it's got to be done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put in some, uh, decided to do some liquid smoke. Probably not a lot. Always add more. And some Worcestershire. Not too much, but definitely want some in there. Okay, we're just gonna get down and dirty. Making a mess. That's what we do best. Look at that. Back here, buddy. You ain't going nowhere. You could do breadcrumbs. But uh, I'm not going to. Like you know I would if I made a meatloaf. If you see my Halloween episode. If not, check it out. Take a look at it. You know what you're thinking, meatloaf. Yep, it was good. I learned that recipe from my mother years ago. And everybody does their own variation of it, obviously, but man, it is good. Like. I'm afraid to try other people's meatloaves. Love this. So I decided to go ahead and put some rub in. I about forgot. I meant to do that earlier, you know, put that out there earlier. You saved me from having to mix it up twice, right? But nonetheless, get it back in there and get it mixed in. I knew I was missing something, couldn't figure it out. Then it dawned on me. You gotta have your rub in there, man. It's barbecue. Oh, look, I didn't tell y'all. Uh, we had a low of 32 today and possible snow this evening. And I've been really wanting to barbecue and I know everybody's shipped into fall stuff and I have a bit, I have a little bit. Um, but it also might rain. The problem with all that is, y'all, I don't care, I don't care. I'm gonna get out there, and I'm gonna barbecue anyways, because that's what I want, and I'm sure that's what y'all would rather see, instead of me doing it on the stove. All right, that was good. Look at that. That was nice. We'll set that aside for a minute and cut the cheese. <laughs> y'all, I'm so forgetful today. What's this? What's the one thing we're missing out of this? The one of the most important ingredients. I mean, really? 
railway. So you don't want to drench it too much because you still want that meat to stay formed. But a good tablespoon or two won't hurt. And I'll get back in there and mix it a third time. But that's my punishment for not doing it right the first time, right? Man, that smells good. I think we'll throw a little more in there. So maybe two tablespoons. You do you. It's going to cook out, so you ain't got to worry about it. No one's going to get drunk off of this, unfortunately. But it's just going to add that flavor. Man, that looks... <laughs> It looks and smells so good. I wish y'all could have, have smell vision. Weren't we supposed to have that by now? Old smell vision. All right. There we go. Now let's cut the cheese. All right, we're just gonna make cubes. You don't want it to be too thick, because. The ball, the meatball ain't gonna be that big. Like this might be, this might be better than that. We'll see how it goes. We can always adjust it. Stack it back up. Cube them out. So I'm thinking that'll be good, but it might be a little too big. We'll see. One more cut straight down the center. Now we're just going to go ahead and get some meat. Let's see, you know, say meatball size, a fairly, fairly big meatball. I'm way up here trying to show you and you get down here, but yeah, and smash it out a little bit. Let's get one of these, fold it around it, sealing it up. Seeing up the best we can. Then we're gonna get bacon, of course, and wrap it. Forgetting one thing here. So once you got it wrapped around, you're just gonna put a toothpick through it to keep it sealed. Just like that. Set it over on a pan. Good size. Flatten it out. Put some cheese on there. Seal it up. Sealed up. Wrap it up. it up with your toothpick. <laughs> These are going to be good.
Okay, so I cut up the jalapenos and uh, just put them on top and pressed them in. Uh, I thought I was recording and it was not, so you missed it. You missed it all. All the action, but there we go. Look at that. We're gonna go get that on the barbecuer for at a, about a temperature of 300. Yeah, 300 degrees and then it should be done within the hour. We'll, we'll check them every, I don't know, half hour or so. Right, let's go get these on the grill. All right, we are out here in this cold weather. Just above 300 on this thing. Go ahead and get them in. I'm using indirect heat, so this burner's on and this burner's on. This burner's off and that burner's off. These are going to be freaking amazing, I'm telling you. These are going to be amazing. And I don't know if you saw it or if the camera's on or not, but uh, put rub on top of these as well. Let's see, that one's on, that one's off. And you'll meet. All right, that's where we're at. We are about 30 minutes into this. Let's see, turned up a little because it did drop in heat. It is cold out here. Oh, yeah. Bacon's starting to tighten up. Looking good. All right, we'll give it some more time. Okay, I'm guessing these are ready for some sauce. Oh yeah, definitely. Look at that beautiful sauce. Beautiful. We'll get these nice and sauced up and then let them sit on here for, I don't know, five ten more minutes and we'll be done to eat all right y'all uh, they're done do me a favor and take the time to like share subscribe uh, comment tell your friends tell your grandparents tell your children tell Uncle Bob if you got an Uncle Bob uh, all right let's get to this taste test I'm excited again stuffed Moink bourbon balls. Okay, let's grab one of these. It's got the uh, jalapeno. You know what? Hang on a minute. Real quick. Drizzle some more of that sauce on there. Too good. Too good. All right. Separate one from the herd. Look at that cheese coming out of it. Nice. Look at that. Looks hot. Looks hot. Go ahead and drizzle some more on this other side. After all, why not, right? A little more. There we go. Mmm. Holy. One, the jalapenos on point. If you don't like jalapenos, I apologize. Man, that little extra kick does it. 
And you got to think about everything we put into it. Like the, uh, the, the Worcestershire, um, all of it. I just, I'm tasting all of it. The cheese, all the flavors. Hey, monk balls are legit, y'all. Man, I'm gonna eat another piece of this. Yeah, look at that. The bacon. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look. That bourbon sauce is so good. So good. Whiskey bourbon sauce is easy to make. Uh, these moink balls are easy to make. Make something. Make anything. Make stuffed moink bourbon balls. Why not? It's easy. They are delicious. And you can barbecue them like I did. It's fixing to snow tonight, possibly. Uh, or you can not be crazy and you can cook them in your oven. You can cook them on your stove. Uh, all right, y'all. Till next time.